How you doing, Tracy? I'm good, man. It's good to see you. And you smell good. You're really Thank good. Thank you. But that's an old trick of the trade. Is it? Really? My daddy said always wear fragrances. Oh, Women really? Women stand next to men with fragrances. May I ask what fragrance you use? I don't know. You do not know? <laughs> you, uh, were you here for the earthquake? Yeah, man. See, that's crazy. I'm from the East Coast. Yeah. So we don't get earthquakes. We got crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> and I stepped off the plane and the earth started shaking. Uh -huh. So I pooped my pants. <laughs> Of course I pooped my pants and a little bit of pee came out. Uh huh. Oh, sure, yeah. So they said, you know, that's gonna be going on for the next 20 days, right? Uh, so I got this for the aftershock. Oh, underwear. Oh, yeah. wow. You've got a giant pair of underwear. I'm ready for the aftershock. <laughs> it's all I can find. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay. You just gotten off the plane when this happened. Yeah, man. That's a hell of a welcome to L.A. Yeah, I'm a grown man walking around like that. Had you ever been in an earthquake before? Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I'm I don't know. Projects. <laughs> for the projects in Brooklyn, I ain't never been in an earthquake. <laughs> Might have been around crackheads. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's scary, though. Yeah, I mean... they'll sell. Any... Yeah, it's scary because they'll sell anything that ain't nailed down. Yeah, right. <laughs> That is true. Last year for Christmas, I seen one in Harlem trying to sell a fire escape. Really? Six floors of it. <laughs> and then a little, a little girl's huffy bike. A little pink huffy. They always sell <laughs> little pink huffies. <laughs> what would one do with a fire escape? I don't know. You gotta ask him. <laughs> but I bought it anyway. It was only $2. <laughs> they sell everything for $2. Do you feel, are you a person? That... I used to sell crap. Yeah, well, you did. Back in the days, for everybody real. was. Either you, yeah, for real, in the 80s, mm -hmm. either you was using it or you was selling it. Either way, you got swept up in it. But I had to stop. Because it started tearing at my soul. Did it really? Yeah, man, because I was a crack dealer with a heart of gold. <laughs> 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 and how did that get... And I just, yeah, I'm telling you, man, I couldn't do that. So I just got tired of counting two dollars and three hundred pennies. <laughs> <laughs> and would people pull up in the car and you would sell it to them that way? What car? What crackhead? You know what a car? <laughs> <laughs> he sold that years ago. It's a very, very good point. You, Jim, are... is so naive. <laughs> I know, I was not selling crack in the 80s. I was working at Miller's Outpost selling Levi's. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, it's a different upbringing. The you Levi's were... wasn't even hot then. Lee's were. I, Lee's were, uh, well, no, this is a little post Lee time. Yeah, but I, went, I wore Lee's when I went through my cowboy phase. Did you? Yeah, because my name is Tracy Morgan, AKA True Grit, AKA Caligula. I didn't know that. that... <laughs> Would you wear the boot cut or the straight leg? Yeah, uh, yeah, because that's when I was have my Walkman on with my boot cut. Uh -huh. You got to know when to roll up. <laughs> know when to fold up. Know when... I better stop singing because I get sued like that. Yeah, right, yeah, Kenny Rogers. Or you really. got to know, you got, you got to count your money when a crackhead is coming down the street. <laughs> Very well done. It's, I know you are right now. You are in the frame of mind of hosting the ESPYs on Wednesday night, so you yeah, probably... Yeah, the ESPYs, that's like the sports Oscars. It is, yeah. And you, you hosted everything. I did host that show, yeah. You yeah. Even, I went to the... What's that The thing in the White House, the dinner? Yeah, the correspondence. You hosted that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was there, yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. love you. I love, <laughs> see, I love being there, man. I just love me some corrupt senators. <laughs> Have you been watching women's soccer? Have you watched the World Cup? Yeah, they all went to the White House, right? Well, no, they didn't go to the White House. They didn't go? No, well, they, it was just yesterday they Then won. that must have been all my exes suing me for paternity. <laughs> <laughs> all the women at the White House. They were at the White House? Yeah. What is your take on what's going on in the White House right now? What do you mean? What's, what's my take on it? I mean... <laughs> my money is in my pocket. <laughs> you, uh, everything... How's your family doing? I saw your Everybody's wife... Everybody, my daughter just turned six. Maven, she in the back, Maven. Maven's so named, that's my booby. Ha-ha! <laughs> she is adorable. I gave her a fireworks display. For her birthday? Yeah, man. So I want to apologize to the FAA. <laughs> Where Newark is... Airport and six homes that I took out. <laughs> I, f I didn't know you had to point them up. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, you I'm just, I'm a guy. Okay, <laughs> I thought you pointed fireworks that way. Did you really give your daughter a fireworks display? I gave display? her a fireworks display. That's my princess. Is that what she wanted? That's my booby. No, that's not what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what you wanted. <laughs> 
And that's what's most important, really. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, yeah, I mean, that's a nice gift to get. I, my parents never got me a fireworks display. I can't even imagine getting you, something My wife like gave that. me a gift for my birthday. What'd she give you? She said, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> that's this another one? baby on the way, yes! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have another baby? What? Would I like to have another baby? I'm trying to break Eddie Murphy's record. <laughs> Is he the record holder? I'm trying to break... I'm trying to break Bob Marley's record. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I Bob's really want to go for a Gandhi's record. Uh, Gandhi has Gandhi. a lot of kids? Yeah, like, like 24. He does? Yeah, I think I got more than that, but mine's is on the books, you know? <laughs> I got four on the books. Four on the books. I don't know who's off the books. Ain't nobody say nothing to me. How many would you like to have? How many kids, ideally, if you really could have... You hear this, Megan? He's asking a question. Yeah, how many? Ten. Ten kids? Yeah, for Megan. So she would have to have yeah, six more Megan. kids? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That C-sex and skull gonna be about this thick. Yeah. <laughs> we are back with Tracy Morgan, who is hosting the ESPYs on, here on ABC on Wednesday night. Yeah. This is a live program. Yeah. Well, you did Saturday Night Live for many years, so... Yeah, well, that's where the training came from, live right. television. It's like being shot out of a cannon. Yeah, right. It's live TV. Y'all don't know, man. It's awesome. It's awesome. Do you kind of want to do something crazy on live television? Is, do you have that Yeah, I'm trying to get the government's attention. <laughs> I can fix this! What is it you can Hanging fix? out with this dude from North Korea, I had to slap him in the head. What are you doing? <laughs> do you think that would help if you slapped him? I in know the... I would. Look at me. Look at my face. <laughs> North <laughs> Korea don't want to play with me. You're going to be in front of the greatest athletes in the world. Who is your all-time favorite athlete? My Uncle Mo, right there. <laughs> Uncle Big Mo? Mo. Big Mo, he was a big... He was all city in Boys and Girls High School in Brooklyn. What sport? Yeah, Brooklyn. he played with World Be Free. Yo, Mo, where you at, Mo? He's a basketball player? Yeah, right Uncle there. Mo? That's my uncle. Uncle Mo? That's my uncle. <laughs> he made the contribution to me as a man. What contribution did Uncle Mo make? Just being a man about really? it all, yeah. What did he tell? What's the most important When they say they late, advice? man up. Man up. When they say this is your baby, man up. <laughs> That's what Uncle Mo told you? How old were you when he told you that? Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wise words, Uncle Mo. So Uncle Mo's coming to the show with you? Yeah, he holds me down. Is the whole family coming to the show? Yeah, Megan and Maven are in the back. Everybody uh -huh. be there. Yeah. My Uncle Fatty Love is coming up, but he's going to be late, though. Oh, why is he going to be late? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might be somewhere selling the fire escape. I don't know. <laughs> How many uncles do you have? Uh, I have about six. Uh-huh. And which one is your favorite? I just found, you know, the test results just came back from my biological father. Wh who is he? Tony Dorsett. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dallas Cowboys? It's going to be either him or Drew Pearson. <laughs> My mother said both of them used to come around the house. <laughs> Tony drove a white van. Uh-huh, yeah. He sold fish out that van. <laughs> Tony Dorsett... All sugar daddies drive white vans. Tony Dorsett drove around Dallas In a white fish. van. In a white van? You know, Tiger Woods' father, Earl, drove a white van. Is that true? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Earl, Tony, uh, uh, Tiger Woods got a baby brother in Harlem. Looked just like him. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, looked just is like him. Is he a golfer? No. No, what does he do? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's so fire escape. Is... <laughs> you have an uncle who's in prison, right? Oh, yeah. He's been in there for, what, 38 years? 38, oh, 38 years, years now, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's his brother, Tony. Oh, but really? But we call him Uncle Jailbird. Okay. <laughs> Do you and ever the family, see... I never saw him before. You never met him? Yeah, but when I came out the coma, he wrote me a letter. And he said, uh, thank you for surviving, nephew. I know you never met me before, but you are strong. You're a king. I'm, I love you. And P.S., I'm graduating from prison. I'm graduating. Please come see me. So he's been 38 what? years, and you just getting your GED? <laughs> <laughs> what you been doing, Unc? <laughs> So I went up to see him because it's my uncle. You I never did. met him before. I'm going to show support. Wow. So I went to visit him. And when I got there, they had these guys, these prisoners on the stage, like it was a real graduation. It, yeah. They made it feel like they was going to graduate and then go off to college. That's, that, that's not how it happens. <laughs> that's not how it happens in prison. You're going to get this GED, and you're going back to your cell. <laughs> and you'll stay there until chow time. <laughs> if this alarm goes off, everybody better hit the deck. <laughs> And that's whatever. These people, these... I mean, either the lowest of the low in the auditorium, 
Like uh -huh. they was graduating, they had him on a stage, like a real graduating class, right. with the robe and the cap and the gown, and underneath the cap and the gown was state issue clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and you could see the shackles on their feet, on the on the jail boots, and all that. But they had him up there on the stage singing a real graduation song. What's what? Yeah, wait, criminals, wait. triple homicide, rapists, and all of them. And they was going, How do I <laughs> say goodbye <laughs> to what? We had the good time <laughs> that made us laugh. I weighed the bad. Well, that's it. And I just thought about it. I'm sure Boyce the Men will be ecstatic. Well, it's very good to see you, Tracy. It's always I, I love you, Jay. You know how we go back. I love you, too. I know you're going to be great on Wednesday night. Thank Tracy you. Morgan hosts the ESPYs, the 2019 ESPYs. Live Wednesday, 8 o'clock here on ABC. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.